10. DNA Brand New Animal. This actually released around the same time as Beastars on Netflix. It is an anime series from Studio Trigger, who most might know from Kill la Kill. It's a short watch with only 12 episodes, not as ambitious, but it still has great animation. The show stars a human high school girl, Michiru, who gets transformed into a raccoon by accident. She runs away to an animal colony in hopes of finding out what happened to her, as well as seeking refuge from those that are hunting her. 9. Agretsuko. This is another Netflix anime that currently has three seasons and some specials. Episodes are about half the length of a typical anime, sort of how Adult Swim airs a lot of its shows such as Aqua Teen Hunger Force. The story stars Ritsuko, a red panda trying to make it out on her own as a regular day office employee. Viewers can expect a lot of drama, romance, and plenty of comedy. The best part is her secret love of heavy metal music, which Ritsuko uses to vent her stress. 8. Dragon Ball. This recommendation pertains to the original work, rather than Dragon Ball Z that's the anime most people are familiar with in this universe, as a bro-intensive fighting spectacular. The original Dragon Ball is more of a comedy series. It features fighting as well, but nothing as dramatic as Dragon Ball Z. It's a light-hearted adventure filled with a lot more animal folk and charming characters, sure to appeal to audiences who love such characters in Beastars. 7. Sherlock Hound this 1984 classic anime may not be familiar to a lot of anime fans. What makes it stand out as more than just Sherlock Holmes with animals is its studio, TMS. They were one of the best animation studios in the 80s and 90s, and even worked on some western cartoons like Animaniacs and Tiny Toon Adventures. It's also interesting to note that famed director Hayao Miyazaki worked on bringing this anime to life. Viewers can watch the whole series on official YouTube channel. 6. Sergeant Frog. The manga for this is still ongoing but the anime series stopped with 358 episodes. Only about a hundred of those have been dubbed, however, there are still sub-translations out there for English-speaking viewers to enjoy. Sergeant Frog is about a group of alien frogs that come to Earth in order to invade it. Sergeant Kororo and his four subordinates are less than stellar invaders though, and instead grow to love the planet. Expect wacky hijinks and plenty of references to Gundams. 5. Gurren Logon. This show might seem a bit different from other entries here, but it does relate to some similar tones to Beastars. At its core, this anime show is a mech series that starts out as a war of humans against Beastman. However, mild spoiler, not all is as it seems in this conflict. Whether it ties into Beastars or not is kind of irrelevant in the end. Gurren Logan is one of the highest ranked shows among anime fans, and should not be missed by anyone. 4. Sonic X. What would a game rant list be without at least one video game tie-in? Sonic X is as good a place to start as any, since it helped create a generation with a genuine love of animal critters. That is to say, look out for Deviant. Art. This wasn't the first animated series to star Sonic and Pals, but it can be called the first primary anime. Either way, this three-season anime has plenty of attitude and action for Sonic fans, Beastars fans, or anime lovers in general. 3. The Boy and the Beast. This one isn't a show, but rather a movie. However, it's a hard recommendation either way due to its beautiful style and touching story. The premise tries to examine the lives of animal people through the eyes of a lost boy. The boy and the beast feels a bit like the beauty and the beast, but with a focus on platonic love instead of a romantic one. It is a heartwarming tale to say the least, and one of Memoru Hosoda's finest. 2. African Office Worker. This anime has a similar vibe as Agretsuko does. It also features animals working in an office environment, but it's not quite so cutesy. The adult humor doesn't cross the line into South Park territory but it is definitely more risque. The anime is also a bit more random and looser in its structure. While episodes may return to jokes, each one split into segments, similarly to how sketch shows like Saturday Night Live operate. It's an interesting experience for anime fans, full of memorable characters. 1. Odd Taxi. This anime just started a few weeks ago and currently has only two episodes available. That said, it is intriguing enough so far to recommend it. The funny thing about this series is the fact that the manga just started in January of 2021, meaning the show and manga might turn out differently. The core concept of the anime starts off with a cab driver and his quirky clientele. However, the show soon turns into a mystery drama about a missing girl. That's it for the video. Tell me what other video would you like to see in the comments below the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.